Um, it's kind of a tough question and it's hard for, it's a hard one for us to answer. It's something that, that you and I, Andy, we've been kind of working on to, to build out some, some training videos that at least show some of those processes specifically for the stuff that we know as cat or daily field adjusters or even desk adjusters that you're going to see all the time and then showing like those those repair processes adjuster tv you either love us or you're wrong adjuster tv is brought to you by kaplik learn all about e and o and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster tv that's something that you could do on your own like getting licenses and like getting exactimate you know, level two certification or minimum level one, right? Before you ever go to any training if you, and then you do a little bit of your own research on like material ID and basic, you know, restoration construction stuff. And then you show up at a training, you're going to be light years ahead of, of everybody that's, you know, all your classmates, right? Who are still trying to figure out, you know, they haven't downloaded and installed exact on the computer yet. Right. And so the instructors back there trying to figure out how to help them do a thing. Right. And you're in to the third chapter in the book already. Cause you're kind of, do you know what I mean? So in other words, I, I think yeah. that it's it's uh it's having construction experience and, and doing like flipping some houses or doing stuff on your own house is probably the best because you're gonna have an innate kind of understanding of like those materials anyway. Um and you'll just need to expand your knowledge to other things like bamboo floor or whatever. So um it's a kind of a tough question and it's hard for it's a hard one for us to answer. It's something that that you and I, Andy, we've been kind of working on to to build out some some training videos that at least show some of those processes specifically for the stuff that we know as cat or daily field adjusters or even desk adjusters that you're going to see all the time and then showing like those those repair processes like um texturing drywall right if you have a flood cut do you have to redo the texture all the way or can you feather it in right well that's that's a huge question and that's something you're going to mm -hmm. fight with contractors on well we're working on a video for that right to show what you do um, so it's something that we're kind of working on with Adjuster TV. Um, I know Patterson Adjuster Training is you guys have, and you can stop me if you, if this is top secret, you don't want to give anything away yet, but coming down the pipe, we're going to have, um, and you haven't stopped me, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, you've got some stuff, uh, with a house that you purchased, right. To where you're, you're able to like bring people in and hands on, let's take a look at this stuff in person and, and then walk through scoping this stuff. And like I, I do getting started with your damage at your material ID and your damage ID and stuff like that. Anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. So the one thing that when I worked at state farm, my last three and a half years, uh, and I'm going to go off on a tangent here, so you can edit it out later if you need to. But, um, I just wanted to kind of explain why I left State Farm and what I'm doing now and the purpose of all that. So, um, and this all ties into construction. So the last three and a half years or last three years that I was on CAT uh, for State Farm, all I really it was doing was service recovery work and agency liaison stuff. And so, you know, Matt, when you're doing that, all you're doing is fixing problems. And so you're not writing an original estimate, you're writing a second estimate um, and you're going out and fixing something. And so the m problems that I was fixing was by a, 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 an independent adjuster. I don't know if they were new, but the first estimate was terrible. And it all really boiled down to they didn't really know what they were doing as far as product identification, how a house is constructed. Like an example would be like this one person I went out and uh, had to fix they replaced uh, three shing or no four shingles and thirty two square feet of decking. Well, that doesn't work out. <laughs> um, so I got to think as like, man, somebody needs to put something together to help these adjusters learn the construction side of it. And I did a lot of construction because growing up, we didn't really have the money to afford hiring a contractor, so we just did it ourselves. And so I learned from my dad, um, and so. A contractor can't tell me that you can't replace just one individual shingle because I've done it myself. I know that that's not true. So I, uh, I'm i working with you, and you're putting some videos together in Adjuster TV Plus. An example would be replacing ski, a, a, screen, a window, ski, window screen fabric. Does When you have a hailstorm that damages just the window screen fabric, do you have to buy a whole new screen frame? 
No, contractors can just replace the fabric. And so you got a video, you're going to have a video showing, okay, if this fabric is the only thing damaged, here's how that uh, repair is going to look. So then when an adjuster gets out on a house or gets a supplement for all of the screen fa frames to be replaced, when it was just a screen fabric, they're going to be able to know. I know that we can just replace this fabric because I watched a video on Adjuster TV Plus from Matt that shows that. Well, this house I bought um, is going to be really to um, train adjusters on construction and then how to write an estimate uh, based on those repair processes. And so, like, on the front, we'll have vinyl siding. On the right and left elevations, fiber cement. On the back, wood siding. On the roof, we'll have two different types of roofing material. Inside, each room will have a different uh, drywall texture, uh, different flooring. We'll have a flood cut in one room. And uh, my goal is to have adjusters come in, spend a couple days with me so I can teach them how to scope, identify uh, damage, identify products. And they get to see all that different material in one house. Because if you go into a house in a typical neighborhood, if they have knockdown texture, they're going to have that in one room. They're going to have it throughout the house. If you get on the roof, they're going to have just one type of roofing. If you go on the outside, they're just going to have one type of exterior cladding. In this house, even though it will look odd in this neighborhood, each elevation will have a different uh, style of siding, a different material. Each room will have a different texture and different uh, flooring. Each uh, window will be a little bit different. So you'll get to see all those different components in one house. And then we're going to teach you how to scope it and then actually write the estimate. And then it comes full circle because a lot of companies are getting away from having you first contact settle everything. So you may not need to know the policy, but what you darn sure will need to know is how to scope a loss, how to do the measurements, how to put that into Xactimate, and to do that, you need to know what you're looking at and how it's going to be repaired, or if it can be repaired, maybe it just needs to be replaced. And so that's what I'm kind of working towards. And I know me and you are working on building that library for you for Adjuster TV Plus as well, which I think is huge. I'm hoping uh, it will be beneficial for folks. Um, so if I have people wanting to do it, it's, we're hopefully going to launch that around Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th. 2024. And so if you're interested in something like that, go to Patterson Adjuster Training.com forward slash adjuster house. And there will be a landing page there for you to say, hey, I'm interested. It doesn't, it doesn't obligate you or anything. It just lets you know that this, uh, this lets me know that this may be beneficial and something you may be interested in doing. Yeah, for sure. And so, and just real quick, um, while we're talking about it, Maybe kind of recap, like, um, you know, the, sort of the broad strokes of what that training will look like. You don't have to necessarily say, well, it's going to be exactly three days or it's going to be a week or it's going to be one day or whatever it is. But, you know, what are you going to cover in that? Like, what can the adjuster expect to come away with? Yeah, so good question. Um, and I, and it's going to be kind of frustrating, especially if I have a lot of interest. But I want to keep the, the, the classes, if you will, kind of small, maybe three to four people max have them come in for yeah. two to three days and we'll spend the first day just kind of walking through the house discussing how to estimate or how to scope that house how to measure it how to get your diagram correct then go back and okay what kind of products do we have here that are damaged let's talk about this let's get on the roof and look at that um, kind of get comfortable moving around the house getting on the roof know what you're looking at and then the Last half of uh, day two into, into day three, we'll get Xactimate out, and we will write an estimate. We will also get it pretty in-depth, so you at least want to have level one training because we're going to get into the calculations, like when you do a flood cut, um, and it's only on one wall. How do you estimate just a flood cut on one wall? How do you back out that square footage? We'll get into that type of thing, and then maybe round out the uh, day with how to have that con settlement conversation with a policyholder. And I think that will really help the insurance. I want to keep it just like two or three days because I know that there will be a hotel expense involved. And since we're not covering policy, uh, just scoping, product identification, what the repairs look like, and then writing the estimate, I think will really help uh, the adjusters when they go into their next deployment. They'll have seen a lot of this material 
uh, ahead of time. Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, obviously you haven't settled on a price yet, but I'm sure that it'll be a nice price and, uh, you know, something that's affordable and certainly a lot more valuable than what people will end up paying for it. But um, so, yeah, so to check that out, head on over to pattersonadjustertraining.com slash adjusterhouse and uh, get on the wait list for that, depending on when you're watching this. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 